I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on important multiple choice questions. Here is one of the best in trigonometry. You can find this question in tests like SAT, AP Calculus, even IIT JE. This is based on maximum and minimum concept. The question is, if y equals to 4 sin x plus cos square x, then which of the following is true? The four options are maximum value of y is 5, minimum value of y is minus 4, maximum occurs at sin x equals to half, and minimum occurs at sin x equals to 1. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, you could do it using calculus, but most students might not have done calculus. So for them, we'll use uh, basic concepts of quadratic functions to solve this particular question. So let me rewrite this as y equals to 4 sine x. Now, cos square x could be written as 1 minus sine square x, correct? So we get one equation in just sin x. Now, uh, let's rearrange it. We could write this as minus sin square x plus 4 sin x plus 1. At this stage, those who have done calculus can actually find the derivatives and maximum minimum. But here is a much simpler method we'll do completing the squares. So to complete the squares, let me take minus common first. So we get sine square x minus 4 sine x plus 1. Now we'll do half of this 4 and add and subtract its square. That means we'll write this as sine square x minus 4 sine x half of 4 is 2. So we'll add 2 square and also subtract 2 square. That's completing the squares, right? Now that makes the first three terms as a perfect square which could be written as sine x minus that comes from here and 2 whole square, right? And then we have minus 4 here plus 1. So let me take it to the right side and further simplify. So we could write this as y equals to minus, let's open the bracket, sine x minus 2 whole square. And that becomes plus 4 and then we have plus 1. So that gives you minus I mean sine x minus 2 whole square plus 5. So this will remind you of a kind of a parabola, right? Now anyway, uh, not exactly but still. Now if you have this uh, function y equals to minus sine x minus 2 whole square, think like this. We could write this as 5 minus something. And that something is positive since it is square, right? Uh, sine x minus 2 whole square. So this something is positive. Now how do I get maximum value and how do I get minimum value from this particular thing? Now to get maximum, what can we do? Think like this. To get maximum, I should subtract minimum, right? So, so to get maximum, uh, I could have this approaching the minimum value. So if sine x is 1, for example, in that case, you know, that could be the extreme value, correct? So, so 1 minus 2 will give us a maximum. So maximum will be when sine x is equal to... Now, if it is 0, so then we are taking away nothing, right? Uh, but it cannot be 0, right? So... So the thing is, since it cannot be 0, but it could be 1, uh, that is a maximum value of sine x. So if sine x is equal to 1, in that case, what we get here is 
Let's calculate. So if I put sin x as 1, I get this as y equals to 5 minus 1 minus 2 whole square, which is, this is 1, right? So 5 minus 1 is 4. Do you see that? So we get this. Now to get the minimum value, we could put sin x as minus 1. Perfect. To get the minimum value, we could take sin x as equals to minus 1. Now in that case, what happens? If I substitute minus 1 here, I get y equals to 5 minus minus 1 minus 2 whole square, which means 5 minus 3 square, right? 3 square. That gives you 9. So 5 minus 9 gives me minus 4. So from here, we do get two results, which is we get maximum, will, which will be when sin x equals to 1 and the value is 4. And as far as the minimum is concerned, we get it when sin x is equals to minus 1 and the value is minus 4. Now, these options could be different. That's the whole idea. To give you, you know, the complete solution so that now whatever the options could be, you can select the right one. So the one which matches is minimum minus 4. So this one matches. So we can take option B as the right option. I hope that makes sense, correct? So minimum occurs at x equals to 1 is wrong. At it, it sine x is equals to uh, minus 1, then the minimum is occurring. And uh, that is why that is wrong. And the maximum value is not 5 but 4. So I could have changed this question to match any of these uh, results which we have got, right? So I hope that is the idea and this question has been seen in test papers uh, with uh, sometimes replacing sign with cos and you know interchanging but i hope the method is absolutely clear so that you could definitely do this one it's a short short question in most of the test feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos uh, that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best